In version 15.2, we introduce a new XAF module, the Maps module. It allows you to display business objects on a map in ASP.NET applications. In this video, I'm going to show you how to use raster maps. I'll start with a new XAF project. I click File, New Project, and choose XAF Solution Wizard in the XAF category. I'll set the project name to Maps Example and click OK. In the Solution Wizard, I choose Web Platform, Entity Framework Code First ORM Type, and finally include the Maps module. The new XAF solution is created, and I open this file. Here, I add the location entity that supports the IMAPS marker interface. This interface is declared in the devexpress.persistent.base namespace. Now I use the code editor's context menu to implement this interface in the location class. I declare getters and setters for the latitude, longitude, and title properties because I'm going to specify their values at runtime and save them to the database. In addition to properties declared in the IMAPS marker interface, I declare the key property for the location entity. The key property is required by the entity framework. Next, I apply the browsable attribute with the false parameter to hide the ID property from the UI. I also apply the default class options attribute because I'm going to access locations from my app's navigation panel. And finally, I add the location entity to my DB context. Now, let's run the application to see the result. This blue rectangle is the map, but now it's centered in the Atlantic Ocean. Let's zoom out to see the whole world. There are no markers because I didn't create any locations yet. I can create a marker using the New button. I set the latitude to 40.7 and the longitude to minus 74. As you probably know, these are coordinates of New York, so I set the marker title to New York. I click Save and New to create another marker. I set the latitude to 51.5 and the longitude to 0 and the title to London. I'll save the changes and return to the map. And here are the markers, London and New York. If I click a marker, the tooltip is invoked. The tooltip contains the Show Details link, which is used to access the marker's detail view. I can edit the marker using the Edit button. Now let's close the app and return to Visual Studio to see how you can customize the map. I start the model editor by clicking the model.xafml file located in the mapsexample.web project. The Location List View node has the Map Settings Child node. Here, I can change the map options. For example, I can change the maps provider from Google to Bing, and change the map type from Roadmap to Hybrid. And we'll run the application to see the result. And that's it! The Bing map of a hybrid type is displayed. Thanks for watching, and thank you for choosing DevExpress.